Hi, and welcome to Maptitude. Maptitude mapping software gives you the tools, maps, and demographic data you need to analyze and understand how geography affects you and your business, and it will help you unlock the geographic patterns and trends hidden in your data. You'll be amazed at how quickly you can enhance your decision making using this easy to use mapping tool. Maptitude includes extensive geographic and demographic data so you can get started as soon as you open the box. Each Maptitude license includes a free, detailed country package and a basic global map. Each country package includes a street layer with address and travel time information, administrative and political boundaries, comprehensive name landmarks that range from public facilities to commercial buildings, including shops, restaurants, and retail stores, and where available, postal data, building footprints, and detailed demographics are also provided. In a few easy steps, you can locate customers and facilities by address, postal code, coordinate, and more, color code postal areas with your data, build rings around your location and estimate the population and other demographics within those rings, create territories automatically or interactively, create time rings and estimate the population within those rings, measure driving distances and generate routes. The Maptitude Create a Map Wizard simplifies the task of adding your data to a map. It gives you start to finish assistance for locating, mapping, and analyzing your data. For example, suppose you have a spreadsheet of customer data. It likely contains address and sales data that you can use in several ways. Let's take a look at how Create a Map Wizard can use this data in a map. In Maptitude, choose File new or click the new file button choose map and that will launch the create a map wizard there are two options create a general purpose map or a map of your own data for our purpose we'll want to map the data stored in our spreadsheet now let's continue through and see what create a map wizard can do First, it will show you the fields it found in your data that it can use for mapping. Next, it will ask you what type of map you want to make. There are two general types of maps you can do with Create a Map Wizard. You can choose to locate your records on a map, or you can choose to show your data attached to a map layer. For example, since our data has county information, we can show the counties with the data aggregated to each county. Or if we had customers in multiple states, we could show the states with the aggregated data. We're going to take a look at zip codes. Next, Create a Map Wizard will ask you how to show your data on the map. One option would be to create a 3D prism map theme. For example, we can look at the total sales in each zip code in a prism map, such as this. Or we could create a scaled symbol theme showing the total sales in each zip code. We could create a chart theme and show something like first and second quarter sales. You can create a dot density theme. But for our purposes, let's create a color theme showing the total sales in each zip code. Maptitude goes through your data, totals the sales for each customer in each zip code, and shows those total sales with the color theme on the map. All of the fields that Maptitude calculated are still available to me. For example, we could change this color theme now. Notice that we have the number of customers in each zip code. We have the sales and the average sales for the quarters and totals. So let's change this map to average total sales by zip code. Now let's zoom into the downtown area. And finally, we can add another type of theme, a chart theme, using some of the other fields that were calculated. This time, we'll use the first quarter sales and second quarter sales and create a chart theme. Now we can see where sales increased, such as here, where they decreased, such as here, and of course, we can see the average sales in each zip code. Now let's use Create a Map Wizard to locate our data on a map.
Notice that it remembers our customer data, so we can go ahead and click Next. Again, since our data had county information, we could locate the records by county. As you can see, this doesn't give us the greatest precision. We could also use the city and state information. Or we could have them located spread out through each zip code. But for our purposes, we want to have the most accurate map possible, so we'll use street addresses to map our data. Maptitude prompts you for a file name for where to store the new layer that you're creating of customers. And again, we can choose a type of theme. For now, we'll choose no theme. But we can also create different types of analysis. For example, if we were locating stores, we might want to build bands around them of varying sizes. Or we can see the areas of influence around the stores. Or in the case of our customer layer, you might want to create a density map to see where the highest concentration of customers is, and you could even weight it by the total sales. Or you can find a weighted center. Again, I'm prompted for file names to save the weighted center information. Now Maptitude goes through and uses the address information to find all of your records. It reports how many records were found and opens a map with your data attached to it. Since some of the records were not found, we can use one of the less precise locating methods to locate the remainders. By choosing locate by zip code and choosing the features where the address was not found, I can go ahead and click OK and locate the remaining records. Now let's take a closer look at these. I'll zoom in downtown again. We can see here is the weighted center of all my records. And if I use this info tool, I can click on some of these and see information associated with each one. Here's customer 5662, which had a total sales of 42,000. Over here is customer 2838 and 5702. And finally, you should note the Maptitude is completely customizable. We can change the way any feature looks simply by clicking here on the Display Manager. And the style is applied. And I can display my map at any scale using the Zoom In and Zoom Out tools. And finally, since the sales data is still attached to all of these records, we could show each of my locations with a scaled symbol theme so that larger sale customers are shown with larger stars and smaller ones, smaller stars. Now that you've seen a bit about how Maptitude works, I suggest you visit the Caliper website, www.caliper.com, where you can learn more about Maptitude. And you can also take a look at some other video tutorials and see some of the other cool functions that you can do with Maptitude.